The fourth topic is with regards to the angle relationship theorems. Now, whenever we know there are two parallel lines, there is some relationship happening. Now, you can see this is transversal. Now, if you consider, say, A and B, these are parallel, and this would be the transversal. You need to see which are the interior angles of the parallel lines. Now, only focus on the ones which I have marked. Two parallel lines, which are the angles inside to each other. That would be this and these over here. They are inside or interior. So, always remember the inside angles are interior, whereas the ones outside are exterior, external. Okay. Now, the next thing is, if they are opposite like this, they are called alternating in the other side, alternate. If it is same in the same side, they are consecutive. Consecutive is continuous. Same thing over here, alternate would mean outside and opposite sides. Now, there are a few things. If you see an interior angle which is alternating or opposite to each other, they will be equal, provided these two lines are parallel. So now, if the A and B is parallel, then I can say 2 and 8 are uh, co congruent. They are the same. Why? Because they are interior alternate angles. Or if anyone tells you these both are congruent angles, 2 and 8, then they must, they, you can tell A and B must be parallel because it's the converse of alternate interior angle. So I'll just recall a few of the formulas. One is alternate interior. Next one would be alternate exterior, outside angles, exterior. Now then there is corresponding angle. Corresponding, see, imagine this is a pair. And over here, this, these are the two parallel lines, L and M. Over here, if I'm considering this angle 4, it's down left side. Then here down left side is corresponding. It is similar to that. Same position. These both are congruent as well. And then lastly, we have one thing called consecutive angles. So now consecutive interior. These both are interior and continuous, right? If you add them up, it will be equal to 180 degrees. This is last theorem. We will now apply these theorems over here. If you want more detail of each and every theorem, in detail explanation is given in the lesson explanations, uh, which is already there. You can check it out or I'll put it in the comments or the description to that particular lesson explanation. Now over here, if you remember those, uh, you know, these uh, theorems, let us see now, 2 and 7. Here we have 2 and over here we have, sorry, 8. Sorry, my bad, it's 2 and 8. Look at them. Which are the theorem? Which, which is the theorem? It is alternate interior. But now they are asking us whether these are parallel or no, which lines are parallel. Now, if 2 and 8 are alt, uh, congruent or equal, then A and B will be parallel lines. So, we hear A and B are parallel. Why? Because of the converse or alternate interior angles, converse. That's it. Now, we hear 3 and 11. 3 is over here, 11. Now, the positioning is the same, isn't it? The position. 3 is down right side. 11 is down right side. It's corresponding. So, converse of corresponding angles theorem. 12 and 14, let's see where is 12 and 14. Over here is 12, over here is 14. It is exterior outside angles to AB is parallel now. Now, before that, once again, 3 and 11, if you notice, makes L and M parallel. And now over here, 12 and 14 will make A and B parallel by alternate exterior angle converse. Similarly, please do solve these by yourself. See, just the same similar thing, similar concept, but the values are different. Do solve this up. So, one by one, pause the video, solve it by yourself, and then check the answers. I'll quickly go through this one, the fourth one. Phi and 12 will make L and M parallel because they are equals to 180. That means it's converse of interior consecutive angles. See? Consecutive interior angles converse or con converse of consecutive interior angles. Similarly, all they are very, very straightforward. Please do solve them yours by yourself and then check for the answers.